The minute you open up that carrying cage and the animal bounds out into its new home, there's nothing like seeing a fisher or a lynx just jumping out of its cage and running into the wilderness. Grizzly bears have a unique ecological role. And as we've learned over the course of the last couple of decades working with our First Nations partners, they also have a very significant cultural role. Grizzly bears are seen as teachers, as the grandfather, as knowledge keepers. Many of our indigenous partners believe that the grizzly bear taught them how to raise children because they're such diligent mothers. Restoring the bear restores the cultures. We inherited this place. It doesn't belong to us. We share it. We're temporary. And we have to continue to have an eye on the future. We have a responsibility to right wrongs, to fix mistakes. And carnivores were among the first wildlife species that were targeted and eliminated from the landscape because of perceptions of threat. Bringing them back will restore the diversity of the ecosystem and increase its resilience, provided for those species like grizzly bear, like lynx and fisher, helps provide for all the other organisms and plants and animals that live within those large areas. What we've been doing over the decades has been to encourage the agencies to move ahead and to support them in their mission to recover bears in the Cascades. We do a lot of stuff to promote coexistence where bears live, and we would do that here when bears are brought back. What I'm particularly intrigued about doing is reaching out and working with those communities that don't like this. Preaching to the choir is not my thing. I'd rather go to the east side and meet with ranchers and meet with county commissioners and try to come to some understanding around the realities and the truth of grizzly bears and predators in general so that we have one less thing to fight over. We work in every corner of the state, so it might seem far and remote to the people who live in Seattle, but it's not because it's all connected. And the second biggest block of lynx habitat in Washington is located in the Kettle Range in northeastern Washington. Yet there were no lynx there today. In order to have a resilient lynx population in the state, we needed to be thinking about making sure that they were distributed in all the suitable and available habitat that we have. And we found a really fantastic willing partner with the Confederated Tribes of the Colville Reservation and the Okanagan Nation Alliance. And we set about to work with the BC Ministry of the Environment to meet some trappers up by Kelowna, British Columbia. The Lynx Project has been very successful. We're just in our second year of five and so far have released 19 lynx into the Colville Tribe's traditional lands in Northeast Washington. Recovery efforts have several stages. The first stage is to get the animals on the ground. The second stage is assess their movements and their mortality and establish reproduction. And the third phase begins, and that's a monitoring phase. That's the phase that we're in with the fisher right now. So we still have more to learn, but from the way it looks now, the fisher is a success. Hi, my name is Tanner Humphreys. I'm the program lead for Conservation Northwest Community Wildlife Monitoring Program. Success! The Community Wildlife Monitoring Program has a robust volunteer pool of just about 100 folks that either install or maintain cameras that catch anything from Canada jays to black bear to wolverine to gray wolves to Canada lynx. My favorite aspect of this is that Anybody can get involved in this program. You don't have to have a science background. You just have to love geeking out about everything nature. Over the last three years since the COVID-19 pandemic, recreation has grown exponentially on our public lands. The Wildlife Recreation Coexistence Program 
works to better the interface of conservation and recreation, particularly on Washington public lands. We've partnered with Home Range Wildlife Research to collect all of this scattered and fairly new research about what impacts does recreation have to any number of different wildlife. We need to make room on the planet for all of its inhabitants, and we have that ability, especially in Washington State, where we have a lot of wild land. Nothing that Conservation Northwest does is done alone. We have huge networks of partners helping to protect the ecosystems across the state. The work that we're doing is keeping the Pacific Northwest the way that it's supposed to be, with healthy ecosystems, with a variety of plants and animals that are living in harmony. I work for Conservation Northwest because I know that the work that we do is incredibly effective and it's successful and it's just frankly really fun. Human nature is human nature. I mean, we all still have a sense of wonder. Animals like the grizzly bear keep that sense of wonder in us alive.